is we blew the entire marketing budget just on that little movie. So no kidding. Um, so before I get started, I'm from Florida, and I'm not sure at what point when you're in Pittsburgh it's not safe to go outside. But today it was not safe to go outside. I tried to walk from the parking garage to the front doors, and it's, I don't know what you call that when snow burns into your eyes when you're walking. That was tough. Um, so this is a. This, and it, I got. We got to get a little closer. Sorry. So 11 years ago, you know, if you think back, um, there were four people who set out to make deploying Ruby on Rails applications easier. And if you think about where things were, it was kind of a strange time. It was an exciting time, but it was also a strange time. And so Tom and Lance and Ezra and Jason, they took off on that path. And if you think about um, that first or in second RailsConf, we brought racks full of servers. We were, uh, we, were, we were off to the races, if you were, in terms of solving these problems, taking care of these strange issues. But there was more than just building tools and building a company at that particular time. It was also about being part of the community and building within the community and growing within the community. We had a number of open source initiatives, and we were both building out what would become EngineYard and the EngineYard that it is today, but also building out the community. Through all this, we saw some of the strangest things imaginable. We scaled some of the largest applications that were on the web at that particular time. Um, we set out helping with tools like Ruby Gems, Bundler, and others. It was a point where we not only wanted to build products and tools, we also wanted to support those in a very unique way. And so we had, from the very start, this mindset of building a support organization that would stand beside what we, what we had created and what we built. And that support organization still stands today, and that still is part of our motto, which is whatever it takes for our customers. We continue down this path today, and while there's new, unique strangeness and things to, to go about, we still, we still set about to create unique tools. To de at RailsConf this year, we're announcing something called Dev Spaces, and with internet-connected devices, depend, no matter what your bandwidth, we've created the ability for you to be able to run uh, robust actions on the background on your your server remotely through whatever your IDE is. If it's on your smartphone while you're on the bus, no matter where it is, and you can do robust, robust action in the background. So as we move forward, um, our, our theme for this particular RailsConf was, you know, these stranger things. And we've seen a, a number of strange things, scaling applications, and I'm sure that we'll continue to see a number of strange things. Uh, we'd like to welcome everybody to our booth. We've got all kinds of video games. Uh, we've got some challenges going on. I think we saw rolled in a Pac-Man machine, uh, and we have a karaoke party going on Wednesday. So I want to thank everybody, and we look forward to being a part of the community as we go forward. And if we can help you in any way, let us know. Thank you.